So I will something that has no substance, but which has just created an impression there, presumes that this mind and this body is real. So now, what have we done so far? We are accepting the reality of the mind and the body, and at the same time, we are denying the mind and the body. Because both are true. You are not the body, yet the body. You are not the mind, yet the mind. Then what is your reality? And how are you going to prove this reality to stupid scientists? How are we going to prove it? We can only prove it by inference. Or by the very factor that reality requires no proof. It exists because of its own existence. The only time you can prove reality is when you have a reference point. And if you do not find a reference point, and where can there be any reference point as far as divinity is concerned? Existence proves itself by its very existence. What proof is there? of awareness? Does awareness require any proof? We come to the point of asking ourselves that does everything in life require to be proved? No. You need a point of reference and the highest level being the one without a second, cannot have a reference point. And because I, the real me, to which I have no reference point, exists, I can only refer it back to a grosser level of the mind and the body, which finds its existence in that which I cannot prove is existing. I'm taking the highest factor of life and bringing it down to the grossest factor and defying the grossness of the grossest factor to that. And that is what I could compare things with. Comparison. Ah, beautiful word. You're pairing up things in comparison. There has to be two to compare. But what if I want to exist as I am? in my full totality, then will I not lose the idea of comparing myself to anything else? And the very moment I lose the idea of comparing myself to any subject or object, that is the very moment when I will lose the ego self, that imprint that is existing in my experience or the impression of the experience. And then where would I be? I shall be incomparable. I shall be the source of existence itself, which I am. It changes from day to day. What is real to you today might be unreal to you tomorrow. But when I become actual, 
when I become the source and recognize that source within me, all the source recognizes itself, then I will say, let me enjoy this body, let me enjoy this mind, for it is a product of an a collection of impressions. And if they are there, let me make the best use of it. We are fusing two factors. The fusion lies in the fact that that which is created by impression or maya or illusion is brought into reality and the reality is converted into illusion. I make the best of both worlds. I am existing with a reality which is my body and my mind. Though in essence it is unreal, but for the moment of three score years and ten. Let me do the best with it I can. Why not? Who could deny me that right? Do you think all these organs we have are there just for the fun of it or for the show of it? Do you think I have ears and I must not hear? Or I have eyes and I must not see? Or a nose and not smell? Or any other organ of my body that has been there, created through an evolutionary process and not to be used? So these guys come over, these monks, with all their monkey business and say, become celibates, become this, become that, become this, and I don't know what all. I say, become yourself. Be yourself. How can I make myself be myself? And the answer to that a riddle is so simple. Do you know that beautiful hymn, which I like very much? It leads the army on kindly light. Hmm? One step at a time is enough for me. Don't you know that beautiful hymn? Firstly, I must admit to myself that I'm living a fragmented life. Part of my mind is pulling that way, part of my mind is pulling that way, part of my mind is floating up there in Chicago, and another part in somewhere, some heaven or some hell, or admit to oneself that I'm fragmented, lead thou me on kindly light to integration away from fragmentation. Let me be whole, let me function in this life holistically. Yes, so existence and non-existence, what am I going to do about it? I'm both. I am existing, and at the same time, the impressions which I am existing upon is non-existent. 99.999% of your problems in your mind are self-created without any damn substance. A very easy way out of it, pull the chain. <laughs> <laughs>